Throughout the year, Long Point is a place of birds. It is especially evident in the fall when hundreds of thousands of migrating birds pass through on their way to warmer climates. These birds include ducks, geese, hawks, and songbirds, which are banded at the Long Point Bird Observatory. But there is one type of bird rarely seen during the day, and nighttime in October and November is the best time to ban them. Owls, specifically the northern sawwit owl. The Long Point Bird Observatory has been banning owls since the 1990s, and in a year, anywhere between 200 and 1,000 owls can be banded. They are the smallest species of owl in Ontario, and they are migrating to the United States. We ban them mainly to find out where they're going, what they're doing, uh, until very recently, the last 15 years or so, not that much was known in terms of their migration routes, uh, the numbers of them that are actually migrating. With all these people liking to ban solid owls because they're cute and cuddly and uh, it's relatively easy to do, we're really getting a lot of recapture data where one in 20 owls we catch have a ban on already from somewhere else, so we're getting tons of information off them. An owl call is played. The birds investigate the call and get trapped in the nets. After being brought in, the owls are fitted with an aluminum band with a nine-digit number unique to each individual. Their wing length is measured. Their age is determined by examining feather condition under a black light. They are weighed, which, combined with wing length, helps determine their sex. Then they are set free. Bird Studies Canada relies on volunteers to help ban birds and collect data. I'm a student at the uh, University of Waterloo for uh, in ecology and biology. So uh, this is a really good uh, field experience for me, and uh, I really enjoy being outdoors, and um, birds are all kinds of fun, and owls are probably one of my favorite kinds of birds. One thing is for sure, at Long Point Bird Observatory, they really give a hoot about owls. Nathan Cox, CJIQ News.